Hello children. How are you? Welcome to our channel. Today we are going to discuss 7th class general science, fibers and fabrics. Improve your learning. Okay, let's start. Flails pulled through the metal teeth of a machine in order to remove short fibers is known as combing. Okay. So write combing. Reading of silkworms to obtain silk is known as sericulture. Sericulture. Okay. Then artificial fiber that resembles silk. Rayon. Artificial fibers resembles silk is called as rayon. Protein present in silk dash fibroin fibroin inner layer of soft short fine hairs of wool yielding animal is known as fleece is known as fleece okay choose the correct answer which of the following does not yield wool a yak b goat c silk moth d camel the answer is c silk moth okay the silk worm is dash pupa cocoon larva adult the silk worm is larva Shearing means A. Selecting fleece basing on its quality. B. Dyeing the fleece. C. Removing wool with a thin outer layer of skin. D. Washing of fleece in hot water. The answer is C. Removing wool with a thin outer layer of skin. Okay. So you wrote C. Silk production is involved in the cultivation of a oak trees b salt trees c tellamaddi trees d mulberry tree the answer is d mulberry trees the most common type of silk produced in india a eri b tassar c mulberry d monga the answer is Mulberry. Often we see mulberry silk in India. Matching A. Pupa B. Silk moth C. Animal fiber D. Angora E. Tassar 1. Wool 2. Goat 3. Cocoon 4. Wild silk 5. Bombax mori 6. Rayon Pupa. Pupa means cocoon. That's why you wrote here 3. Silk moth means Bambax mori. Another name is silk moth. So 5. Animal fiber. In this animal fiber is one Wool. Angora. Angora is the name of goat. Tassar. Tassar is the silk. Wild silk. That's why 4. Okay. Let's Answer the following questions. Explain how stifling is done. What is the purpose of stifling of cocoons? Answer. After 2-3 days of cocoon formation, farmers remove them from chendrikalu and treat them under stem for 10-15 to 15 minutes. This process is called stifling. Stifling treatment is done to kill the pupa inside the cocoon. This prevents the early emergency of moths and breaking of silk threads. Second question. Differentiate 
between animal fibers and plant fibers based on their properties animal fibers plant fibers animal fibers burn slowly plant fibers burn rapidly they release forms emitting the smell of burning hair the smell of resembles that of burning paper or wood the ash formed is black in color the ash formed is light grayish in color the ash appears as hollow beads there is no bead formation these fibers dissolve in chlorine based bleach these fibers do not dissolve in bleach animal fibers have comparatively lesser strength plant fibers are stronger than animal fibers third question analyze the advantages and disadvantages in usage of cloths made of synthetic fibers which type of fabric you prefer to use why advantages artificial fibers are light soft and smooth they are more durable when compared to natural fibers maintenance of dresses made of artificial fibers is relatively easier they are available at a cheaper price as their production is quite abundant and economical disadvantages except ray and other fibers are made of chemicals their production leads to environmental pollution even after their disposal they won't mix in soil for years and they release harmful chemicals into the soil I prefer to use synthetic fabrics as they are light in weight, soft to touch and smooth. Maintenance of these fabrics is easy as they do not get wrinkles easily. Fourth question. What happens if stiffling is not done to silk moth cocoons? Answer. If stiffling is not done, then the larva inside the cocoon will come out by breaking open the cocoons so we cannot get the continuous thread of silk this will reduce the quality of the silk fabric also stiffled cocoons can be stored for a long time and can be sold in market draw a well labeled diagram to explain life cycle of silk moth which stage is in life of silk moth is important for making silk why see children life cycle of silk moth this is larva pupa imago eggs okay the four stages are involved in the life cycle of silk moth first one is eggs second one is larva third one stage third stage pupa and fourth stage is imago so we explain detailed okay let's start four stages are involved in the life cycle of silk moth among the four stages larva stage is important for obtaining silk the larva or silk worms eat mulberry leaves day and night to grow in size when they are ready to pass to the next stage pupa it stops to eating and settles down on leaves it starts to wave a net around it for this the silkworm secretes a glue like substance containing protein this protein dries up on exposure to air to form silk fiber Sixth question: What precautions do you suggest a shearer to take while shearing an animal to prevent hurting them? Answer: 
Prevent cuts to the animal's skin by taking time while shearing and carefully clipping the wool so as to not get too close to the sheep's skin. Be extremely careful when shearing around the udder, scrotum, sheath, low skin of the flank and hamstring. Never lift the unshorn place with the hand and attempt to shear it off. This lifts the skin as well which will be cut in shearing. Shearing should be done by an experienced sheep shearer because an inexperienced shearer can cause injury to the sheep. It is very important to have good quality shearing equipment. This is safe for both shearer and sheep. It also important to get the sheep in correct position. Describe your views on preparation of silk by killing the larva. What ways do you suggest to prevent this activity towards silk moth? Killing the larva inside the cocoon for the preparation of silk was a cruel and inhuman act and must be stopped. Ahimsa silk production should be done in large scale. People should prefer to wear the fabrics made of rayon whose texture is just like silk and is made of wood pulp. More trials should be done to find sources of silk derived from other than silkworms. Wild silk production is one more alternative to prevent killing silkworms. This is the complete structure of improve your learning in fibers and fabrics children. I think you are understand well. Please Stay tuned channel and like and share to your friends to learn more things. Thank you.